I started Sadashi because I wanted to create chemical free or natural skincare that really worked, that was really effective, that people would really enjoy to use but would see beneficial results from using. Sadashi means wholeness, purity and radiance and it's taken from the Indian Sanskrit language. The reason why chemical free was so important to me because I have a background in naturopathy and aromatherapy so I couldn't consider anything other than that. I know the effects of chemicals on the body. So the reason that, that natural ingredients and essential oils are really effective in skincare is they're what nature intended. They haven't been synthesized, they haven't been man-made or created, they're exactly as nature intended us to use them. But also, let's just say that ingredients are only as good as where they're sourced from. So I want to just talk a little bit about that because I think it's really, really important. Sadashi does get its lavender from the Haute Provence from organic sources. So we use organic lavender grown in Provence, grown under the right soil conditions with the right amount of rain, the right amount of wind, the right amount of snow, all of that's really important to the quality of the ingredient. Um, our rosehip oil we, we get from Chile uh, and our centella oil we actually infuse that ourselves using the organic herb. My very first product was, is what we now have as our rejuvenating face and neck moisturiser and we would sell it in little brown amber jars <laughs> and people would come in and buy their little brown amber jar um, personalized with essential oils um, but certain people said to me labels and a name might be a good idea so we did that but of course once people started to use the moisturizer they wanted other products and at the time we had people driving between 50 and 100 kilometers to our store to buy their products so it became evident to me that these people wanted to progress with Sadashi. The inspiration behind each and every product that I develop comes through, you know, a few channels. Sometimes it comes because someone says to me they really think that Sadashi is, is missing this particular product in its range or from what is going on um, in the world, you know, there's a trend for a particular product that people like to use. Now, I don't always follow trends because that doesn't always work for Sadashi. But if I see that there's something really valid, then I do, I take that on board. And when I'm developing a product, I start by developing that in my head, then it goes onto paper. And then I go down into our lab, into our manufacturing area, and we'll do a small trial batch with that product to see how it's all going to work, to see if it's going to blend well. Um, whilst you know we're not perfumers, the aromas of our product are really important. But mostly what's important is the effectiveness. So we need to put it through its, its rigorous batch testing. We'll, we'll do the, the bacteria and the molds and all the um, challenge testing that's required. And then it goes into efficacy trials we like people to use it, experiment with it, and if that all stacks up, then we end up with a product.